Hello, I'm Henry from CCTV42. Can I have a quick chat today about our large open dome 2.8 to 13 millimeter camera? It's our new generation of open dome camera, probably the most common camera that we sell, very, very versatile at its widest setting around about 90 degree angle of view. You can identify people probably two to three meters and then fully zoomed in, uh, you can identify people up to about 15 meters. So for distances up to 15 meters, it's probably our most common and, and certainly uh, most versatile uh, camera that we sell. Um, one or two features in this new camera, so I'm going to talk you through the basics of installation and show you some of the features on the camera. So the camera's available in either dark grey or white. So when you get the camera, it's like this. First thing you need to do is undo the locking ring. This comes off. You can then remove the shield on the side and the electronics come away from the base. So as with our previous camera, the electronics of the camera are contained within this sphere. This is the base that you need to mount on the wall. You can see you've got four positions where you affix it to your surface. It can go on either a vertical or a horizontal or indeed it can be underhung depending on how you want to install the camera. Reassembling the camera, the shield goes on and then you turn the locking ring. Keep it loose, don't keep it fully tight at this stage. So whilst the locking ring is still loose you can adjust the position of the camera so it's pointing in the correct direction. And don't forget when you do uh, mount the camera you need to keep the light sensor or the small arrow at six o'clock on the camera face. That way your image is going to be the right way up. And you also need to make sure that the side shield here, the scallop, is aligned with the direction that the camera's pointing. If you have the scallop round to one side, there's a danger that the infrared light will bounce off the inside edge of that scallop uh, and then bounce back into the camera. So at night you'll get a white glaring. So make sure it's aligned. When you're doing your final tightening of the locking ring, just hold the camera electronics and the scallop with one hand and lock the camera off with the other. And that way it'll all stay in position where you've positioned it. When you first get the camera, you'll notice that the BNC fitting has a little cap over it. You just need to remove that and that reveals the BNC fitting. You'll notice on the fly lead, there's a toggle switch. The toggle switch is actually protected by a cap. So during installation, keep this cap in. But when you want to make an adjustment, you remove the protective cap and you can do the toggle switch up and down. And this zooms the camera in and out. This particular camera features a motorized zoom lens. So you can adjust it either using the toggle switch. You can also adjust the zoom through the DVR recorder. You don't have to do separate wiring for this function. The control is via the uh, video a control wire or the video signal wire. Uh, and our DVRs allow you to control the zoom uh, through the DVR once it's been installed. And then the camera will automatically focus once you've set the zoom to where you want it. We also offer a deep mounting base with our new large open dome cameras. And this allows for convenient cable management. Uh, you can have the cable coming in through here and you can do all your connections, have your fly lead from your camera and do your connections inside here. You mount this to the wall in these positions here and always make sure that you have the drain hole here which is on the bottom. So that needs to be on the bottom when you've mounted it on the surface like that. The base plate comes with four machine screws and these are used to fix the camera to the base plate. So you do the four machine screws and secure the base of the camera onto the extended base. So you now have the camera base mounted on the deep base extender. You put your fly lead and your video balance and your connectors inside the base plate. Slip on the outer sh uh, shield.
If you're running your cables outside, then always put a drip loop on your cable. So if your camera's mounted on the wall like this, you need to make sure that the cable goes in from the underneath of the camera and you have a drip loop so that any water would come down the cable and would drip on the bottom. It wouldn't enter into the camera housing. We always recommend that you keep the protective cap on the toggle switch at all times. This way the toggle switch is protected from side impact when you're installing the camera or if you're pulling the fly lead through an opening. We also recommend that the toggle switch as well as the connections, the video balance, are kept weatherproof. So either inside the extended base uh, of the cameras or using a weatherproof box.